Levy Aaron mumbled only a whispered no when the judge asked if he had anything to say. The confessed killer knew he'd be getting sentenced to 40 years to life in prison for the horrifying murder of eight-year-old Libby Kletsky last summer. His decision on that day was to take this beautiful boy's life. Making a statement, no matter how many times he says he's sorry, is only going to seem insincere or never going to be enough. On July 11th of last year, little Libby was walking home from day camp when he got lost and asked Aaron for directions. The deranged stockroom worker kidnapped the child, then panicked when he heard the entire community was looking for him. Aaron killed the child, then dismembered the body. He committed a dastardly act. Brooklyn Assemblyman Dove Hyken said Libby's parents chose not to attend the sentencing of the man who killed their son. They've received thousands of letters offering sympathy. Jew and non-Jew alike, all over the world, they felt, they understood what it meant to have an eight-year-old, that it could have been their child. Libby's parents agreed to the plea deal, which could get Aaron paroled at the age of 76. But to reach that point, Aaron's lawyers told the judge their client will need to be in protective custody 24 hours a day. If he's not protected while he's in jail, he'll be murdered. So I worry for his life. The sentence is 40 years, not death. Now, I'm told what that protective custody has meant for Levy Aaron while he's been at Rikers Island is confined 23 hours a day to his cell, and a similar arrangement is likely when he's transferred to state prison. As we mentioned, the Kletskys were not in court. They did give a letter to prosecutors, which was read. That letter says, in part, God gives us the strength to overcome these challenges. We close the door on this one aspect of our tragedy. May our son's soul rest in peace. In downtown Brooklyn, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.